everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We're showcasing a brand new custom that I need your guys' help with, as well as just to showcase that to you guys, run some things by you, and also, I would actually, I'm, I'm thinking about holding a new contest, and I don't know the specific details of it, but I do want to give away something, and I'm working on all the details of it, but the first challenge that I'm issuing out to you guys, this is going to be a fantasy attire challenge, so, uh, you know, I I guess I, I don't want to say comment down below your fantasy, you know, attire ideas, but I would love to see, you know, some ideas on Instagram. Maybe you could draw up something. Maybe you could uh, think of a cool idea. Put that ish up on Instagram. Tag me. Send me a message of it. Email it to me. If you have a really badass idea and I end up taking it and using it, that is the giveaway winner right there. So I wanted to put that out to you guys. Anybody, you know, come up with something cool. And I don't know what I'm going to give away just yet, but I do want to give away something sick to the winner of that. But here today, guys, we do have a brand new custom. I want to showcase all the stuff in the thing and I do have some more ideas coming and I don't know if I need to add something to the custom that we're working on here today but let's just go ahead and dive into it guys obviously you see right here in front of you we do have a Walmart exclusive Survivor Series Elite Jeff Hardy as you guys know this is probably one of my favorite figures of all of last year you know you still really can't get your hands on it that much unless you know you can't order it online I think you might can get it on ringsidecollectibles.com wrestlingfigures.com using promo code MDTOYS of course course to save yourself some money but I don't think these things ever hit Walmart you know they never hit Walmart very upsetting because this figure is super badass I love the head sculpt I love the dreadlocks the braids that we got going on with it it actually makes me want to grow my hair out so that I can braid it like this and run around like Jeff Hardy I mean he's a beautiful specimen just look at him but anyways what I was thinking guys is uh, I actually was looking around I don't know if you guys do this yourselves but when you're making a custom you know you're twiddling around you're looking for inspiration this is kind of the idea behind the fantasy attire D idea that I had. You guys know that I did the Seth Rollins in the Punisher gear. I did the Punisher Jeff Hardy. We did the Buzz Lightyear Seth Rollins. We've done some other stuff. You know, nothing's coming straight to my skull right now as I look around the room, but we've done some fantasy attires before. I did the AJ Styles that sold out. We've done, uh, I don't know, we've done a lot of different things. We've thrown together parts. I've even shown a full 12 minute video or something like that on WWE attires for fantasy attires that you guys can make with your own action figures. So I am big on a fantasy fantasy attires. If you guys watched my video from yesterday about why I call, why I call people Brad, um, you know, football and sports and basketball and just sports in general growing up, I care about swag. You know, I care about looking good on the field, looking good on the court as well as performing because, you know, you look good, you feel good, you play good, they pay good. You know what I'm saying? So that is what, uh, you know, that goes into the attires as well. I want the attires to look sharp and fresh and clean and tie together. I know what aesthetically pleasing uh, gear looks like, okay? So, so I am going to say that when I approach any custom, when I'm doing fantasy attires, I run it through, I write it down on paper, I try to get all my ideas out in the open. So where this custom's inspiration does come from is I was looking up, you know, fantasy attires. I was looking up face paints. You guys know Jeff Hardy loves to paint his face. I, I don't know why. I guess I have Willow here, but I could have sworn I put a regular Jeff Hardy Elite. But this Willow right here obviously is, a, uh, is not fantasy, but it is, you know, a face painted version with a mask version of Jeff Hardy and you guys know that he rocks the stripes he's got the white going on he's got the braids going on he looks like a freaking G and this custom is still beautiful to this day but this all leads to the point that, you know, Jeff Hardy, when you're doing a fantasy attire Jeff Hardy, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. I have a whole album on my freaking phone dedicated to Jeff Hardy fantasy attires, and this is the first one of those that we will be starting. So what I've done is you guys can already see the colors. You guys saw the you guys saw the thumbnail. You know what the figure looks like. I'm going to bring it on screen right quick, and this is the first of many Jeff Hardys that I'm going to do, but right quick, sliding it in, guys, we have this clown. I don't really know what the hell to call. You know what? That's part. Of, that's part of it too. Let me know what we can call this attire down in the comment section below. You guys can see here we pretty much have like a clown face Jeff Hardy, and pretty much what I was trying to get to when I'm looking up these fantasy attires and the inspirations behind these attires. I Google face paint. I Google you know weird, creepy stuff, especially you know when you get Willow and you get different Devits and Demon Finn Balors and stuff like that. When you find these face paintings, the the creepiest ones, the cool looking ones, are the ones that I want to go with. So they first one that I have, I'll pull up the picture 
on the screen on the left side so you guys can see exactly what I was going for when I was creating this attire. And so we got all the stuff going. You know, I couldn't see what the top of the hair looked like, so I just kind of winged that and kind of saw that maybe it would look something similar to this where you got all the different rainbow colors. And then I just kind of kept his roots right here. A little bit of the brown color came in there with like a darkish brown slash black to keep it, you know, um, well, it's, I guess it's th that kind of color. It's like a deep, dark brown black color. And I kind of just washed it in there. That way it would look like the roots of the figure or the roots of Jeff Hardy's hair. But I am, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. You know, the white's kind of drowning everything out right now. But I did my best to try to get it like the photo. I know I'm missing some black details on the mouth lip area. I think there's like some blood splatter or something on there. There's supposed to be like some red markings and stuff going on. But I kind of wanted it to, to mix it together with my own. You know, I didn't know exactly what the hair looked like all the way around the head sculpt. So when I got to the back, I just kind of winged it. You got all these different colors. You got fluorescent and greens and yellows and blues and stuff and this is where I wanted to make the attire look even better is I wanted to take a uh, I wanted to take different sleeves I didn't know which sleeves would work best so this is what we're working with right now um, I'm thinking with the epic moments this head would look pretty good on this body because you have all the different colors but then I was like you know Brad Mattel left off the pink stripe there's actually supposed to be a pink stripe on here as well which would make the figure look so much freaking better they left that stripe off for whatever reason I'm not exactly sure why they did that but they did leave off the pink stripe. That would make the figure look better because, you know, he does have the pink in the hair, and that would just make it better. These these colors aren't the most accurate, too. I feel like they need to be more neon or something. They're, they're pretty bright, so I don't know. They probably couldn't do it any better than they have, but I think the colors would tie in nicely, especially if they had the pink stripe that's accurate. I know some people that have customized that in there and made that accurate, but I also thought about maybe the pink sleeve Jeff Hardy would look even better with this head sculpt on it, but then I was like, you know, there's so much green and stuff going on, so I, I don't know. I wanted to know what you guys thought down in the comment section below. At the end of the day, I went ahead and just went with the Survivor Series Walmart exclusive Jeff Hardy simply because you have this purple color, you have the lime green on the sleeves, you have the blue, you have the black, and the black obviously can tie together with anything. It doesn't really necessarily matter. Don't know why I said really necessarily back to back like that. Kind of sounds like a jackassery type term, Brad. But at the end of the day, I thought this would be the best formula. Um, he doesn't have his tattoos. You know, he is missing some stuff here, but ultimately, um, I think figured if I went with this body, I could always switch out some sleeves, maybe the pink sleeve, maybe these sleeves with some, you know, the skin tone painted on there. I don't know, I'm just spitballing, but another thing I thought about doing was possibly painting like a rainbow belt, maybe some rainbow studs. I know they've made a studded belt in that rainbowish color before. I've seen it at Spencer's and places like that, so that's possibly a thing that we could also do. And the last thing that I thought about doing was taking the foot, the right foot off of this Mustafa Ali right here, and doing a yellow kick pad, like a yellow foot, and then on the left foot doing this green Kofi Kingston Elite, and probably acetoning the designs off because I wouldn't want the designs on there, like that little green thing there. I'd want them to look like Jeff Hardy's kick pads, maybe like this. Possibly flip-flop, you know, where the black is, make that yellow. Where the black is over here, make that green. And then the top part would be white or black, and that would make it, you know, more uniform. And it would throw in that rainbow style that we're going with, but all the way together, I thought it'd be pretty cool. Here's a little comparison between the uh, the Joker Devitt made by Showstopper Custom Figs. You guys got like two different clown attires or Joker attires. I don't really want to call it the Joker attire because it doesn't really look like Joker. If anything, he looks like a Joker goon from Batman or Dark Knight or something like that. But I did, uh, I really liked it. I, I do like it. You know, again, I'm leaving off some details. There's some like some black outlines and stuff like that that are supposed to be on the nose. I think there's supposed to be some splatter on his face or something, but ultimately, I think it turned out pretty freaking swell. I like the way it came out. All the colors in the hair aren't super saturated, so they kind of work out pretty good. You got like this fluorescent green going on for the eyebrows and the fluorescent yellow for the for the nose, and it's a pretty clean paint job. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, I was kind of skeptical about the red lines under the eyes right there with that black makeup, and it's not all the way perfect, you know, because when you're doing face paints and stuff like that, you don't want it to be super duper clean because, you know, face paint especially on a guy like this. It's not like a demon or, you know, a regular Jeff Hardy face paint because those are more, you know, intricate and they got hard lines and nice shapes and stuff like that. When you're doing just, you know, creepy clown makeup or Joker makeup, you know, it gets a little messy, man. You want it to look pretty good and you want it to fit well. So that is what we did right there. 
and I, I'm pretty happy with it. I would love to know down in the comments section below what you guys think about that. I wanted to run that by you, showcase this new fantasy attire, Jeff Hardy, and uh, show you guys pretty much what it looked like. So if you guys were wondering here, this is the before and this is your after, and I'm pretty satisfied with it. I'd like to know what you think down in the comment section below. Also, let me know your fantasy attire. Email it to me. Instagram it to me, send it to me, tag me on Instagram. I want to hear a really sick idea. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are probably going to send the same idea over and over again, but, um, you know, whoever sends it first or, you know, maybe they put it to fruition, you know, draw it up, customize it, whatever. I would love to see it down in the comment section below. I would love to see any photos that you guys do or anything like that, but I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Just a simple fantasy attire, Jeff Hardy. Let me know what you think of it. Do I Should I add anything? I thought about adding some more definition marks right here, making those more fine line. I thought about painting his beard maybe in different rainbow colors. I don't know. I just kind of threw shit at the wall, but I like the way it looks. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. That's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys. Comment down below a fantasy attire or send it to me an email or Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.